Well, already in church, Pastor Jeremy here, and I've got some good news for you. How would you like some good news? The good news is this. In Clark County, today, as of today, we are now in phase two. Now, what is so exciting about that? That means that now we can meet in person, <laughs> inside. Last week we had a gathering outside. This week we get to meet inside. And so we're gonna do that at nine and 11. So that's a shift. Our services the last number of weeks have been online only at 10 o'clock. So this week it's gonna be at nine or 11. Now, how do you participate in those services? Well, uh, we emailed out and made a, a link uh, to a Sign Up Genius page. Uh, that the same link is available on our website, our homepage on our website, or on our Facebook page. What you do is you go there, and it's real intuitive. Once you click on it, uh, it'll take you to a place where you can choose either the nine or the 11 o'clock service. You uh, fill in your information and let us know the amount of people in your party, uh, because we are limited to 50 people to uh, each service, so we need you all to sign up for that, so I encourage you to do that. Uh, also, uh, we only want you to come, though, if you feel safe and if you feel comfortable to come. If you don't, then guess what? We're gonna continue to come to you online. You'll be able to, we're gonna be live streaming our service at 11 o'clock. Now, this is a shift because the last number of weeks we've been, uh, we had to pre-record our service. We weren't able to go live, but now we can. We got everything worked out, we're ready to go. So we will be live streaming the 11 o'clock service. So if you're at home, you can catch us there. We'll have, and you'll be able to participate in everything that we're doing here. You'll be able to have our worship and the word and the response, everything will all be there for you. Now, for the in-person stuff, we will be, um, uh, for the in-person services at 9-11, we'll be following the CDC guidelines, uh, the guidance that they provided on how to reopen uh, houses of worship, how they're able to reopen, so we'll be following that. And with that, uh, we, for the, at least for the first few weeks, we'll see where we go. We're not going to be having uh, child care or children's ministry so that kids will be with uh, their moms and dads either upstairs or if kids get a little too wriggly then you can go on downstairs and downstairs we have things set up we have tables with crafts and everything set up for you and then there's a big tv down there where uh, the service will be streamed to and so you can catch the service down there in an environment where uh, the kids will be a little more rambunctious and it won't be uh, uh you might feel more comfortable down there so we're making that available for uh, for you for now. And again, I just want to reiterate that um, for these in-person gatherings, uh, we want to make sure that you feel safe in coming and that you feel comfortable in coming. And if you don't, again, we're going to be doing, we're, we're, we're feeling our way through this. It's going to be an interesting thing as we uh, are meeting both in person and uh, doing this online. And I want, to, I want you to know this, that whether you're at home or whether you're here with us in person, you're every bit a part of Radiant Church in this fellowship, whether you're still at home or whether you're here. So we're looking forward to taking this new step. And this Sunday, another thing that's unique is this. As excited as I am about moving into phase two and being able to meet in person again, my heart is also grieved. Uh, the historical moment, the cultural moment in which we live is uh, overwhelming is concerning. And so the message that I'm going to be preaching this Sunday is going to be speaking directly to that, specifically this. How do we, as followers of Jesus, meet the challenge of our day? What are we to do? What can we do? What are we called to do? What are we equipped to do? We are not meant to just sit back and experience this thing. We are called to be the hands and feet of Jesus. We are called to be his salt and light in the midst of a chaotic, distressing time. So we're gonna talk about how we do that. So join us at nine or 11, whether at home or right here. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Blessings on you.